hello. You know, I thought when I opened this video that I should start singing some sort of Beatles song, but、um, I don't want to destroy your ears with my singing. Hello, Aaron. So someone else is gonna have to sing or something、uh, somehow. Anyway, rambling aside. Hello, everyone.、Um, it is another fine Tuesday, isn't it? It is very exciting. Psychedelic, really, because today we are playing with psychedelic purple, as you can see. Psychedelic purple. Hello, hi, hi, everyone. Thanks for joining. So it is beginning to look a lot like Christmas, sort of.、Um, if this is kind of like this looks like a nice wrapping paper, you know, like a nice wrapping paper type of theme. Anyway, let us do a quick rundown of what we are playing with. The Maruma Nemo Sign Notebook. I really like this notebook. I know I use it a lot. It's just really convenient for me, especially on the、um, the live because there's not a huge amount of space. So the coils make it easier for me to work with. Then we have the Pilot Metropolitan Retro Pop Purple Pop Pop. Okay, sorry.、Um, which obviously is a pretty exciting match for the Mont Blanc. This is the great characters, the Beatles, psychedelic purple ink. So it is fairly psychedelic because, like, if I did this, it's like woo, and you guys might think like you're on something, but it's actually just me making you nauseated. Ooh. Okay. Uh. Okay. So let's talk about the ink. Um. This is the the larger version of the inks now that Montblanc is doing because they used to be like the smaller glass bottles. Get ready for this. Dun, 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 dun. Usually, it like it comes with this little plastic thing on the top to protect the, the cap.、Um, I usually take it and get rid of it, and it has this little like thing, this thing about ink.、Uh, anyway, so this is the 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 new size bottle. They are now fifty mils. It is forty three dollars a bottle, which is not terrible. I mean, I've done worse, but it's a very beautiful bottle. You get really nice packaging.、Uh, it is a special edition, so it'll be around for a while, and then it's off it goes. So you might as well、uh, stock up now because that's what I always do. And then people are like, like five years later, they're like, "Oh, how do you have that ink?" And I'm like, "Well, because I bought ten bottles of it five years ago." Okay. <laughs> Uh, you know, I had a really strong cup of tea this morning, and I think I'm just a little wired. So. I have not done anything psychedelic. I swear. So we have the the bottle, and at the bottom it says fun stuff like Encre Violette and Made in Austria. I know it briefly paused there. It seems that I'm back. Sorry. It's a very stormy day here, so. Okay, so let's open up. Ding ding! Look at these fun things we have done in the past. Oh, such fun times we have had. Okay. Uh, I'll stop. Now, should I write first, or do you want to see the swab that I have first? Like, I can start writing, or I can show you the swab, and then we can write, or we can write then swab. Swabage. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Brown, for your for the only vote. Okay. Now there's swab and write. Okay. There's two swabs. All right. Oh, three swabs. Oh, so exciting. Okay. Here is the swab. Super exciting! I think it's really beautiful. This is the coloring ink testing notebook. Coloring, call o ring, call o ring. Um, and I did it not super saturated, so there's like some saturated spots here. But I also made sure to spread it out so you can see the shading. So that is definitely a true solid purple, isn't it? Most like the most glorious match to this pen. Absolutely, which is why I picked the pen. I kind of gave it away by picking this pen, and I have two other swabs here just to give you a quick comparison. There we go.、Uh, this is Montegrappa Violet, which is kind of similar, but I think it's bluer than this is. Like it has more blue tones to it, as you can see there. And Waterman Tender Purple, which is otherwise one of my favorite purples. Which is also like more on the lil deep lilac blue scale spectrum, so、uh, that's kind of neat. So it's not the exact same as many other purples that I have, which is nice. 
Uh, does it have sheen? It does have sheen. If you have not seen Hot Stuff, you should check it out. But in the meantime, it does have sheen. You can see it right here. Sorry, I'm trying to make sure it's not like out of focus. It's got a golden sheen to it, which is really awesome. So let us do some, what is this? Do some writing. You have seen the swabbage. Okay. We are going to write random words, which is basically what I always do. This is the 1.0 millimeter um, stub nib on the pilot. What is hot stuff? Hot stuff is on Mondays on our blog, blog.andersonpens.com. And um, Kim will take like a new ink and she shows it off and it's really awesome. So she'll do a bit of write, like regular writing, but then she'll do this really delicious like inky smearing. And uh, it's really nice. And it's, it's not a long video. So for those with short attention spans, it's, it's great to check it out if you just want a quick overview of the ink. I highly recommend watching it. Okay, so the notebook is the Maruman Nemosign. Uh, I know a lot of you already know what the notebook is, but um, I'm writing down anyway for any latecomers. Is the ink readily available for purchase right now? Yes, it is. We do have it in stock. I can add a link. I'll add a link to the Instagram story afterwards, but you could also go to our website and you could just, you can find it in the just in section, or you can look under the, like the Mont Blanc bottled ink section. Okay. So the pen is the Pilot. I'm not going to write Metropolitan because I'm lazy now. This is the Metro and this is the 1.1 millimeter stub. And the ink is the super exciting Mont Blanc. Uh, I'm not going to write great characters because I don't want to spend time writing boring things like great characters. And um, it is... Psychedelic purple. Not the most beautiful handwriting, but that it is what it is. Um, okay, so I've missed pretty much all your comments. Let me just scroll back quickly while you... Here, here, I'll just put this here while you look at that, and I can just scroll back to catch up. Okay. All right. We are, we are caught up. Um, okay, so... Today is Sinta class in the Netherlands. So, well, I believe that one of the colors of the outfits is like a purple, right? So this is actually pretty appropriate. Now, unfortunately, I cannot remember from my time there what is the appropriate um, greeting for Sinta class. Is it just like happy Sinta class? Like, like, anyway, um... That's pretty exciting. Yay! I hope you guys get all presents and delicious candy. Okay, look, I'm gonna draw candy. This is a <laughs> this is a cloud note in with a little detail. Cloud note cloud note? Cloud note. Okay, now we have two with a cloud note in. Okay, the ink. It has good flow. It is not dry. It is also not a gusher. I actually found the drying times pretty pretty average. And um it is saturated and it is a purple so you do want to n not let this ink dry out in your clear pens because that's not going to be fun to clean out however i have not had staining hi but i don't let my inks dry out so i um i mean that could just be proper pen hygiene but um typically for like for my own use with purple inks reds and anything with like a super saturated darkness with sheen um i always make sure to clean it well and i don't let it dry out in my pens okay i can write your name aki is that correct horrible handwriting so that's okay because i'm like kind of like writing around the edge because there's like stuff in the way Okay, let me see here. 
I don't think this is saturated. It does have a sheen. Uh, with regular writing, I don't find it showing up super easily. Um, like, just, like, writing like this. But let me see if I can, if we can get it. Oh, that was way more ink than I wanted to smear out. Sorry. Um, let's see if we can get it showing. It has a golden sheen. Some people like an ink that has so much sheen that the color changes. Uh, this is not one of those. It does have a fair amount of sheen, but not so much that the ink color is not visible anymore, like the base color. So let's let that dry for a second. I have made a... This is Inspiration, right? So uh, it is a golden sheen. Yes. Which I think is really pretty on the on the purple. Okay, let's leave that to dry for a second. And if you missed it... We briefly looked at the swab earlier. So you can kind of see it on the edges there. The more coated your paper, the wetter the swab you do or the writing you do, the more easily the sheen will show up. Here it is like right here. It is not like a uh, Robert Oster sheen, no, which those are very intense. Um, and some inks will sheen like across the entire ink. So even this Waterman, the purple, you can see the sheen is, is kind of like all the way across it. And this one is more so on the edges. You feel inspired. Good. Good, Ralph. I want to see your inspiration. That, that, okay, anyway. Um, which one do I like more? The new Gerbain? Uh, you mean the, the Jacques Robin Amethyst? Um, which one do I like more? Well, I like shimmer inks, but I don't use them all the time because of the... I'm kind of lazy with maintenance sometimes. So I do prefer this one. And I also find the color is um, a little more vibrant. I'm just trying to find my swab of the, of the um, Jacques Abbe. Oh God, I have so many inks. I can't even find my swab. Oh my God, people, it's just madness. Oh, here we go. So this is the um, Amethyst de Lugal, and it's, it's, it's much darker. But of course, it has the silver shimmer, so it's kind of hard to really see the color of it in this particular swab anyway. So this one is much more vibrant. It's definitely more psychedelic. Oh, I just threw it and then just made a mess. Um, was there another question? How does it compare to Monteverde Purple? I actually don't have that swab on hand, unfortunately. So perhaps someone else can assist in that question if you have Monteverde Purple. Does it have more or less sheen than the other swatch? Uh, it has less sheen. It does sheen, but it's not really, really intense. It is there, and it will still give you your the true color of the ink with like the sheen as a highlight. Some people like that. Some people prefer um, a lot of sheen. I don't really mind either way. I would I would use the ink either way. I'm happy about it. Um, dark lilac. Are you referring to the diamine dark lilac? Uh, this is, the dark lilac is a lot more, well, dark. Um, it's more of like a deep blue purple. And I'm trying, I had a swab of that too. And look, look, this is what I'm working with. This is, this is why it's madness. It's not just because I don't know what, what's going on. Um, the psychedelic purple is brighter. I'm trying to find it, but I, I just can't. It's... There's so many, there's so many things in here. Look, there's just so many things. Oh, wait, no, that's Lilac Night. No, no, I, what is Dark Lilac? Which one is that? What do I have here? No, I just have, okay. Okay, I'm gonna give up. There's just too many things happening here. I can compare it to the Montegrappa. <laughs> Look at this, this is all, in, this is madness. This is like two of these things stuck into one, so... It's a bit insane. It's it's quite similar to the Montegrappa, but the Montegrappa is a little more on the blue side. And um, this is like like more purpley, like vibrant, I think. Both shade very well. This one has a dark sheen. So if you if you're like into the yellow golden sheen, this one is more golden. This one is more like just like a purple saturated swab sheen thing. There we go. But you can definitely see that this is on the more on the purple side. Uh, sorry, more on the purple side, more on the bluish side. Um, Olami Dark Lilac. Oh, shoot. Yeah, I only have cartridges left of that. 
the I'm trying to remember. I haven't used it in a while. Um, I'm thinking the dark lilac was a little darker than this, but that'll be interesting. I'll have to check that out to see if it's a similar color. Yes, there are never enough purples. We should all... Like, I, I'm always, like, seeking out, like, a new purple, also new greens. Okay, so our swab is drying. Here you can... Let me just move the bottle. Um, here you can see on the edges, there's the sheen showing up. Is this my ultimate purple ink? Usually, I use two other purples. I use the Waterman Tender Purple, at, like, for regular use, not just, like, for fun. Like, if I... If I'm regular using a, regularly using a purple, it's this one or the Mont Blanc Lavender Purple. But this one is more vibrant. Now, I try not to fall in love with special edition inks, and then I do anyway. So I think this is beautiful. And I'm probably going to pick up another bottle just so I have some stashed away for when I eventually use this one up. Doing things like this. It's quite lovely. Okay, so let's just quickly look at that sheen one more time before I turn the page. Nice sheen. It is visible. Um, it's not, like, it's not blinding. It's not going to change the color of your ink or your swab or anything. So I think it's a nice option. Okay, like a nice option to have, like, the additional sheen but not, like, change it completely. And I don't want to turn the page because I have... It's still a bit wet and I have this fun stuff. So I'm just going to like, I'm just going to, just going to do this unprofessional um, drying of my saturated swab. There we go. Look how beautiful that looks. Oh man. So exciting. Okay. Let's turn the page. Uh, yes, I, I will upload not the picture of this, but I will put pictures of all the items I'm using into Instagram stories with a link in case you wanted to get one. But yes, the whole video will be on YouTube, so you can check it out there. Um, best viewed on your mobile device because, of course, it's a um, portrait mode. Portrait landscape, right? Portrait landscape, yes. Um, did I get a little flexibility from the nib on the pilot? This one is pretty stiff. Um, if you apply pressure, basically you get the same line, but just a little more ink flow. Um, so I'm applying, okay, so this is no pressure, and then I'm going to add pressure slowly. I mean, you get a little, little bit, but it's, it's basically a stiff nib. Most of the Pilot Steel nibs on the Metropolitan, um, and the Kakuno and stuff like that, uh, Kakuno. Kakuno. Anyway, they're they're pretty stiff. No flexibility, really. It is a nice purple. I really like it. Okay, I have rambled extensively. So, um, oh yes, this is I. This is this is my psychedelic right. <laughs> That's supposed to be like psychedelic purple. Get it? Okay, I'm ashamed. Really beautiful purple. I know it's not the most inexpensive ink you can buy, um, $43 for 50 mils. You're probably thinking, oh my goodness, that's insane. It's really not um, when you consider how much you like actually use and how long it's going to last you. Because I used to think like, oh my goodness, 30 mils of ink is not nearly enough. And then they give us 50. And to be honest, I still have several bottles of 30 mil um, Mont Blanc inks because it's actually quite a bit, especially when you have multiple bottles of ink. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's so terrible. Inspiration. Thank you all for joining. I hope you have been sufficiently inspired with this new super hot psychedelic purple ink. Thank you to Mont Blanc for making a purple and not another blue. Not that I don't like blues, but you know. It's always fun to do something else. Um, thank you again. And I will add links so you can check out what you're interested in. And we will see you next time. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.